Welcome back, Separate Bedrooms Cooking Show, episode two here. Um, we got our Great Jones pots and pans out, you know. Thank you, Great Jones. Today we're making a very special dish because we have a very special guest. He's one of my best friends, Dr. Wu, all right? And for this recipe, I've been cooking this since 9 a.m. and it's about 12.30 now. So if you take a look in this pot, which Julius will show you, I have a whole chicken, I have two big duck legs, and I have three big slices of pork belly that I seared and then put into the broth. The goal here was to cook this down and really make an unctuous, viscous soup with really just like the collagen and essence of the animal meat itself. And um, it smells insane. Julius, confirm, confirm. Smells crazy. Yeah. Yup. Natasha, how's it smell? Incredible. Incredible. Confirmed on all accounts. It's just an incredible soup. Um, I basically learned this soup when I was doing Wong's World in Sandong, Northern China. And there was a chef there that was teaching me his master soup combining duck, chicken, and pork. And I've modified it slightly, but it's still there. Right now, um, all that's in there is a whole chicken being boiled, two duck legs, and then three big pieces of pork belly that were seared and then put in. Natasha has all the amounts and the instructions at the end of the episode. I desk. just don't like the cooking shows where you're sitting there and like, watching it forever cooking and chopping that shit's not that interesting to me and i can remove this this pot has done its service for today um but yeah it, it was like a three hour process um it's not actually three hours of work it's three hours of waiting and i would treat this dish like you're gonna do a big barbecue where you just wake up and you kind of chill and cooking is like the event of the day um this is definitely the event of the day We have about a gallon and a half of water in there and then cooked all the way down. Um, it's been cooking for, like I said, three hours. So you could see the ring of where it got dehydrated in the pot. I'm sure you got it on the overhead cam there. Um, we're gonna add a half bottle of rice wine because Natasha's pregnant. So she should have some of this. No, I'm kidding. We cook off all the alcohol. We put in about a half. <laughs> half bottle of the rice wine gives it a really good flavor i always use taiwan rice wine i think it's great it has a natural sweetness to it mijo all right a little paps more all right i'm gonna kick the heat up what i did was i brought the whole thing to a boil put the chicken pork duck legs in at the hard rolling boil let it boil all in there for like five minutes. Then I brought it to a slow simmer and let it chill for a while. The next thing I'm going to put in is ginger because it takes a second to cook the ginger. Um, this is about, I would say, five ounces of ginger sliced. I like ginger. You can go anywhere between five to eight ounces of ginger. Um, you're not going to go wrong there. The other thing I put in first is the taro because taro took a long time to cut. And as you see, I sliced the taro into chunks, rough chunks, and then put it in a leftover Chinese takeout container. All right, taro's in. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is shiitakes. And you see, I took my dried shiitakes. Oh, one second. I wanna burn this garlic, you, you see? We're toasting this garlic really nicely here. I'm gonna turn that heat off. But the next thing is gonna go in is, I have 11 shiitakes rehydrated in warm water for about an hour. Okay, shiitakes go in. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor. The next thing to go in will be this garlic that I roasted 
in a little bit of light butter. If you have lard or if you have schmaltz, that's even better. Um, this is one of the kind of like innovations I do with the soup is, uh, you know, I will use a little bit of animal fat incorporated into it. And I also burn the garlic. When the master chef was showing me, um, he didn't roast the pork or the garlic, but I think for like an American palate, it's nice to like get a little sear, get a little richness in there. The next thing that goes in is two bunches of scallions. I chop them. Uh, a lot of times when you do a Chinese soup, they don't chop them. I like, well, they chop them really rough in big segments because some people like to eat large segments of scallions. I like a smaller chopped scallion, so I chop them. Goes in, that's two bunches. Now, the next thing, this is a cool thing I added as well. Basically, I took the master's stock and when he made it, it was just a stock. It was just like chicken, duck, pork, some aromatics and kept it very simple. I wanted to make this kind of like a hot pot style soup where like the whole family can sit around and gather and eat and pick at it. So I did this, this is a rehydrated bean curd sticks. This is AFC brand. Because I'm a Commanders fan, I usually go NFC brand, but they only had AFC brand. Hydrated and go in, okay? Be dried bean curd sticks, delicious stuff. It gives a really good texture. Um, the next thing here is the deep fried soybean cake. This is really tasty in there. They also have some that are stuffed with meat. You can get those, put them in. You'll see these at Hot Pot all the time. Now, if you don't want the deep fried, you could get like silken tofu that's healthier, but this really gives it like an incredible flavor. You see the overhead cam here now. Oh, everything's looking very, very unctuous in here. Now, because I got excited that we were on a fucking show right now, I, uh, I forgot to do one step that I usually do before adding all the ingredients, which is I take out all the meats and I chop them together. And I do that for one very simple reason. I don't like to like fight over the duck leg or fight over the pork belly. So I like to dig it out first. Now let's go in here now. We dig it out, okay? So like, look how tender this piece of pork belly is, all right? Jiggly. Oh, what's this? It's a duck leg, jiggly. Ooh, 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 is this? Oh, the chicken. And cook down all the way. Oh, more pork belly. Jiggly. Wow. Oh, crikey, that's some jiggly, some jiggly stuff there, mate. Okay, I'm gonna get the spider to get the chicken out next. But for now, we have all the pork and a duck leg. This is enough to just start chopping first. Then I'll go back in there. This is kind of a recipe mistake. I just, I just got too excited being on camera, you know? But it's all good. It's a very easy, quick, rough chop here. So you see how quickly, like tender this is. Just beat up duck on the bone. Don't even really need a knife. Super chill. And I like to mix all the meat mixture together. So it's almost like a Sunday gravy kind of a vibe. Every bite, you get a little something.
This is a crazy dish, though. You ever had anything like this, Julius? Jiggly pork. Damn, I got in the zone and stopped talking, but I really, you know, it's very relaxing to just like chop meats. I like this. I miss this. All right. The spider. Not many people have a spider in a home kitchen, but I have to say, this is one of my favorite utensils, the spider. Here we go. This is a giant chicken. Okay, we'll come back for the rest in a second. Ooh, that's nice. A lot of that chicken already broke down alone in there. Here's the duck leg, I found it. Wow. Put that guy right here. Can you see that, Julius? All right, sick. Oh, very nice. Really, it's not about eating the meat because all of the flavor is already in the soup but it's nice to have different textures of protein to just like gobble gobble. Wow, oh my God, bodied. This chicken is already shredded. I love it. That was crazy. Damn, just pull out the cavity. bone here just big chilling like that chicken was really in there doing work this is the back the spine spinal So obviously I did not go to no Le Cordon Bleu, 
do not know the proper technique, but this is this is how I do it. <laughs> Just pick it the chicken. Okay. This chicken can get chopped up. Oh, nice little leg here. like to waste any protein all right here we go oh many pounds of protein going in delicious Ooh. then we come with the napa let that napa cook and you're done Give the Napa a few minutes. There's a ladle. Clean my station. Oh, I got some beef balls. You could throw in some beef balls. These are cool. Ooh. We like a beef ball. Are they just balls of beef or are they actual like um, testicles? No, they're like balls of beef oh, okay. that are cooked and you use these in hot pot and I, I just like to have a few of them in the in the yeah, soup. No, I'm into I'm into a beef ball. Yeah. It's like when you go to pho and you're like, let me get the number one add balls. Yeah. I'm always I'm going to the number one plus balls. Give me the balls. Mm-hmm. Then lastly, bean thread. Dongfin, all right? This is noodles made out of mung bean thread. Some people soak them before going in. I'm down for them to soak up the flavor of the soup instead of just plain water. So I put them into the soup straight first. Just drop it down. My mom likes to soak them so that she can cut them. I leave them long for long life. Yeah. Here's your soup, man. This can feed a lot of people. Look at this. And each person, I'm gonna let them season it themselves with like salt and white pepper. I leave the stock clean like that because I may be able to, or I may wanna like make dishes with this stock. So, let's see what Dr. Wu's ETA is.
This is our recipe today, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo it because I missed a bunch of steps. We will redo it. Well, we'll redo it. We will redo it. It's all good. But this soup looks amazing. It smells amazing. I will not be eating till after the pod because I'm showing solidarity with Julius, my guy, my brethren. The real reason is that he's fasting. No, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm showing solidarity. <laughs> I was gonna break fast. Oh yeah, soup looks tremendous. Oh, it's got some water. I'm so excited for Dr. Wu to try this. I'm excited for you to try this. I'm so I haven't excited. even made this for you before. No, I've never had this. This is like very new for me too. Oh, look at it. Dong fin. All right. Look at the noodles up in there. This is just a mystery pot. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can't remember the Chinese name, so I'm just calling this Chinese Thanksgiving soup. Cause it's got like all the poultry, all the pork, everything's in here. It got beef balls. It's like Thanksgiving in a pot of soup. Honestly, I would say, right, babe? I think Korean soup we eat the most. Yeah. But if somebody sold this, I would be eating this crazy. If there was really good ramen, I would eat ramen more than Korean soup. But Korean soup to me is just the tastiest. Just the tastiest. Because they do spicy soup. I like spicy soup. Yeah. I also like it because it's soup soup. It's not like full of shit. Yeah. You could just drink a clear broth of soup. Oh, I love a full of shit soup. Mm. See, I want... But I'm a white person. Like, white people love yeah. shit in their soup. We're like, put rice and yeah. veggies and all the shit. Like, it, like, like minestrone. Yeah, I'm like, minestrone. what the fuck? This is like a soggy bowl Italian of pasta. Italian wedding soup. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. I do like Italian wedding soup, but... Because that one is just like mini meatballs greens and like barley yeah three things tops matzo ball soup french onion soup yeah french onion soup is this much cheese and this much soup yeah. you're going to burn the roof of your mouth but it's yeah. the best soup i've ever had in my life now this has tons of shit but when i serve it you're going to get a lot of clear stock like that you know so you're really drinking the stock and then there's a party also what i love about anytime eddie makes soup he'll be like this is the healthiest soup you're ever gonna have in your life and then there's like ten thousand calories of duck fat in it <laughs> but he's like Ooh. this is peak health like you're gonna lose Ooh. weight if we drink the soup every day and i'm like yeah i'm gonna lose weight guys Ooh. we're gonna get snatched you're off gonna the be soup. snatched this is we're snatched, gonna get snatched soup. off the soup with Ooh. pork fat and duck fat i love it but it's like divided up into like Three gallons of liquid. No, for in. sure. And you need you need fat. You need fat. No, I need fat for sure. Damn, Julius's emoji guy is so sick. This is so he sick. He is. I like him. I like him. I like this guy a lot. Do you have an emoji guy? Yeah, Did I do. You make it? It's Bitmoji, right? Yeah, I have an emoji guy. I'll send. I can send it to you. Let's see where's my guy. Also, I feel like we need Julius on camera at some point because yeah. he's coming through in the fits, bro. This is my guy. Julius' jacket yeah, Julius right now. Yeah, Julius' fit is cool. Like, can we get him yeah, on me, camera for one second? You hold the camera, yeah, I'm me, scared. Hold. <laughs> we need Damn, it's Julius camp. Yo, from the feet <laughs> up. Yo, get the bang. fit. Got the carpet Ooh. <laughs> Got the CDG pants. Ooh. My man Rich in the podcast hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> Woo! Rich gang. Only rich activity here. Okay, you know what, babe? Since Woo's not here yet, I think what we can do, though, is serve you your soup. Okay. So then when he does get here, you've already done your thing. Cool. What do you think? I'm, I'm making my Bitmoji right now. 
Oh, oh, you're making a bitmoji, so you don't want to taste the souping taste? No, I do, for sure. Okay. But I'm just letting you guys know okay. that I'm okay. making one. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is tough. Some tofu puff here. Oh. oh. A little chicken. All right, I made you a little baby bowl because I, I feel like you want baby bowl right now. Oh, that's good. That's All right. Good. I'll season for you. Thank you. Is this your water? No, this is mine. Okay. I poured that for you. Thank, oh, thank you, babe. Of course. All right. What is that, garlic powder? White pepper. White so pepper. I like to season this with, with salt and white pepper. Got it. Salt, white pepper, it just gives it like that real Taiwanese flavor. Mm -hmm. mm, squeeze. I like to squeeze out all the juice out of the tofu. Totally. Please enjoy. Thank you. Julia, stare at her while she eats it. Okay. I hate like when soup is hot and you blow on the soup. It is very hot. You so may I'm need gonna, like... I don't want to blow on the yeah. soup, so I'm going to wait just like a second. Yeah. Oh my God. Unctuous? It's so big. Mm -hmm. There's so much flavor. It's rich, mm -hmm. but clear. But it's so good. Yeah, you can tell it's it's like, it's kind of, it's nice, it's clean. Mm -hmm. This is fire. It's just scallion, ginger, garlic. I love this. Rice wine. I love this soup, babe. How to trap a white woman. Just make <laughs> make various soups that you yeah. forget the name for. Yeah. Um, just throw anything in a pot. Just, really. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to try my soup? Well, everything is everything you make is impressive to me because I literally don't know how to make anything at all. Besides, you maybe, make great gluten free brownies. Yeah, I can bake, but baking is not cooking. Oh, like, I also need is to point thing. out, this is a gluten-free dish. No gluten. Mm. The noodles is mung bean thread. Wow. Gluten-free. Wow. Fully gluten-free? Yeah, that was my favorite part in Jamaica. Everywhere we went, yo, is this gluten-free? Gluten-free, man. Gluten-free. I feel like nothing in Jamaica is gluten-free. No, it was gluten free. Really? Yeah, because we they don't like unless you eat like Rasta pasta, it's just rice and peas and coconut. Oh yeah, milk rice and, is the no gluten. Yeah, no Fuck. gluten. Yeah, you're right. Gluten free. I didn't even have to take my gluten flan pills. Shout out the gluten pills. Mm hmm. Cause I had inflamed intestines for so long that I'm just like, man, I don't I don't wanna be a player no more. I don't want to have inflamed intestines. No one does. Now that you're drinking more of it, any other thoughts on this soup, babe? You know, maybe, maybe, maybe she's got more thoughts, Julius. My thoughts, people aren't going to want my thoughts because my thoughts are so skewed no, right now. No, we want to know your thoughts is like never having this soup. What never having the soup and having it now. Yeah. I love it. Usually I think it is super rich, but it's yeah. not overpowering. Like there's no flavor that's like so overpowering or taking over the whole soup. Like, perfect. It's not perfect. pork or duck that I can taste. It's just really nice blend of flavors. Perfect. Me pregnant, that's like my shit right now. I feel like my palate is somewhat immature. No, you got a good palate. No, now my palate's immature. Oh, oh yeah, because you're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, so do you like, uh, actually, that's curious. As no, a saying, pregnant I woman, is this a good it. pregnant woman soup? Yeah. I love it. Like okay. some things that you've been making me, I typically would love. And now that I'm pregnant, I'm not loving. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, that's okay. This morning <laughs> I made her boiled eggs with housewife soy and garlic and a little butter. I made, I made like a nice little dipping sauce of housewife soy, minced garlic, butter, and a little agave. And it was like too much flavor. She didn't want it. Too much gluten, man. Too much gluten. But <laughs> Housewife soy. Yeah. Housewife soy is fire. The only soy sauce that matters. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. 
Let's call, let's call Dr. Wu. Let's see where he's at. Oh, here he is. Wow, here Babe, he you wanna is. welcome? you wanna welcome in Wu? I do, I'm gonna take him in the other way. Yeah. Um, just through, because. Through the wire. <laughs> and just because Julius, that door is up, crazy. Right? Yeah, so you should, no, 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 I'll hold it. I'll film while you mic him up. Sick. All right, here comes Dr. Wu. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. I'm going to spare you getting attacked by the dog that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's out and running. Welcome. It's Dr. Wu. What's up? What up? Welcome. Oh, look at him oh, yeah, stepping yeah. in no, with them God. giant shoes. <laughs> Yo, you wear shoes in your house? Yeah, sometimes. Sick. Yeah. We got four dogs, man. It don't fucking matter. Yeah. Truly. Yo, I'm so psycho. I have we a try, sandy we have, bucket. We like, have sanitizing station for the dog. Yo, where I we wipe her wipe foot. Wipe her feet every single really? time. Yo. Yep. Yeah. Oh so I mean, we try. You got two of them. Yep. Yeah, but one of them is away. You know what, babe? We should let Killa out. Not Let's back. let Killa out for the show today because she can hang out on the bed. Let him eat first because okay, okay. she's going to be attacking what up? him. Welcome, bro. Good to see you. It's been a minute. Like yeah. That. Julius is going to mic you up. Oh, we're going right into it? Yeah. Live homie activity. It has been. A, when was the last time I saw you? It wasn't at the Roosevelt. That was way too long. Wait. I feel like we randomly, we had sushi like six or seven Yeah, months yeah, ago. yeah. And I got food poisoning was that after. It? You got food poisoning? Yeah, when we went to the Naka Sushi Nazawa pop up. Oh, I don't know. With your homie. That last time? Yeah, that's the last time I saw you. Dude, that was so long ago? Yeah. It was like summer. I feel like it was like August of last year. But you've been traveling a lot, and then we've been doing romance. Romance? Yup. Romance and dogs? Yep. I yeah, was going to yeah, say that's more dogs than romance, really. It's just we're more like picking up shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just pick up shit all day. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It just it timed makes, up, because yeah, the last it time end. I saw you was right before we got Killa. And then my life was just dog shit. That's true. Yeah, life kind of went to shit. All right, oh. Julius, you back. Bro, let me make you the soup. Yes. So yes. Killa might... Wait, no. The other one. Chow. Mr. Chow. Chow. Mr. Chow might not. Chow's in no, school. No, he's definitely coming back. Is he, at, is he at a boot camp? Yeah, he's at boot camp. Yeah. I am bonded with Killa. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. He randomly started liking Mr. Chow like five days before he left. He didn't fuck with him at Bro, all. Bro, he's cool. I he, you him. did not fuck with that dog at all. You literally, every time, you'd be like, I'm going to hang out with Killa. You can take Chow. You didn't fuck with him? He was like annoying for a little bit. Was he a puppy? Yeah, yeah. he was a puppy. Yeah, it was just that I already had a pre-existing relationship with Killa. Yeah. So I wasn't as in the chow at first, but then like right before he left, we went to school yeah. and he was like the best dog in the class. I was like, oh, oh I love You're him. You're proud of him. I was like one of those dads who's a deadbeat dad and then your son makes the NBA and you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. yo, I always loved you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always loved you, always believed in you. I yeah. knew you were the one. <laughs> and I knew you were the, the one. And you, you has, succeeded because I believed in you. Yeah. But like our life has significantly improved Without since Chow has been at school. Yeah. Kills so what do you mean? Chill. Like since he's not here? Yeah. Yeah, because it's mellow. It's just yeah. one dog. It's so easy with one dog. It's mellow. How many dogs do you have? Four, dude. Four wow. is a lot of dogs. Yeah, you no got shit. four dogs. Why would you get you have four dogs? dogs? Right? You have no, a I French got, bulldog. I got the Frenchie, and then we have a new little English bulldog oh puppy. Oh, cute. It is. He's oh the best. God. He's so fucking cute. What's his name? Uh, just don't know yet. Oh, he's like new, new. Ooh, some salt for you, sir. Some oh, pink yes. salt. Pink salt. Is this the ocean salt? From Peru, yo. Oh, shit. Peruvian ocean. Some white pepper. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Need that shit. Go crazy. It's got chicken, duck, pork, Ooh, everything in there. I if you need more shit. salt, salt's here. I'm showing solidarity Ooh. with Julius, so I'm okay. waiting to eat. Okay. But you go crazy. Natasha already tasted. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yup. 
Wow. All right. No, so it's, it's true though. Like I'm gonna fog up my glasses. One of the last times we hung out was like that. What, it was a the pop, sushi. It, it was a New York sushi spot, right? Yeah, yeah. sushi Nizawa. Mm -hmm. It was. And they sushi did Nizawa. the. They were at the Peninsula. That's yeah. right. That's what it was. That was the last time I saw you in person. Yeah, for bro. real. Last time. That's crazy, dude. Oh yeah, we'll give Julius a second to spin it. Here, Julius, I'll do this cam. I can. I could get Boo's reactions to food, and then 